Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm here to help you. You've already taken a big step towards helping yourself by considering the GetSTDTested.com's mail-in at-home kit. It's important for you to know the mail-in at-home test provides the same quality testing process that leading hospitals and physicians use. The only difference? You're preparing the test in the convenience and privacy of your home. If you've received or are considering the mail-in at-home kit, you may need a little help getting through it. Well, that's why I'm here. You can also find this information in the mail-in lab test brochure included in the testing kit. Okay, let's start by reviewing the kit's contents. Your mail-in kit should include the following. One cardboard shipping box with prepaid return mailer. One urine collection cup. One specimen collection kit including a pipette dropper and transport tube. One sample collection bag including an absorbent strip one requisition form, and finally, one box seal. Now that you have all the right components, it's time to collect your urine sample. I know, not the most fun part of the process, but you'll be thankful later. Take the collection cup and hold it directly in line with your urine stream. It's important to be sure to catch the first part of your urine stream. Fill the cup to about half. I'm gonna need a moment. After you have successfully collected your urine sample, next you're going to want to take out the transport tube. Here's my sample. It's blue so you can see it. Don't discard the clear liquid inside the tube. It's needed for the testing process. Place your collection cup on a flat surface. And using your pipette dropper, draw the urine from the collection cup and drop into the transport tube. Fill the transport tube so that the urine is between the black fill lines. This is very important. Be sure not to under or overfill it. Screw that cap on tightly and discard the collection cup and excess urine in a safe and sanitary manner. Next, you're going to want to prepare your paperwork. Grab your requisition form that came with the testing kit. Remove the label from the lower right-hand corner of the requisition form, then place the label on the transport tube. The label ensures your test is uniquely linked to your results. Now you can prepare your sample for shipment. First, be sure not to discard the absorbent strip in the sample collection bag. Carefully place the transport tube in the sample collection bag and then seal it according to the directions. Place the collection bag with the transport tube along with the requisition form into the cardboard shipping box. Use the box seal to secure the box for shipment. Okay, we're almost there. Now all you need to do is mail in your sample and you're all set. Simply drop off the sealed cardboard shipping box at any United States post office. Though do not, I repeat, do not drop it in an outdoor mailbox. And be careful not to expose it to excessive heat. Now that you've successfully completed the at-home test and put it in the mail, all you have to do is wait for your results to come back. You'll be notified by email when your results are in. Click on the link in the email to connect with our private, secure website, getstdtested.com, and enter your last name and confirmation number. You just successfully completed your mail-in at-home kit brought to you by getstdtested.com. Need further help? Feel free to call us on our toll-free number. Until then, stay safe. Get tested so you know the truth and gain peace of mind.